talking about working in the text editing panel in Cricut Design Space. So let's jump on in. To get the text editing panel to appear, first you have to type in some text. So come over to the left hand side and hit the T and then Cricut Design Space will bring up a blank text box and you can type in whatever you would like. I'm just going to type in happy birthday. Since a lot of us make cards or shirts for birthday occasions, and I'm just going to slide it up here so that I can see it a little better. All right, once you've typed in your text, you'll notice that this text editing panel comes up with a lot of different options of things that you can do to your text. The first option is the font. Cricut Design Space automatically brings up the text in um, a default font, but you can click on the arrow here and it'll bring up a ton of other font choices. We have All, System, and Cricut. I'll click on Cricut first because these are the ones that everybody should have because they are part of the Cricut Design Space and they're the ones that are available in Cricut Design Space. Some of these are available if you have a Cricut Access subscription. Some of them are available um, for free just as part of the Design Space and then others require a charge and you can purchase these fonts if they're ones that you think that you'll use for a project or that you'll use a lot. The system fonts are ones that you that Cricut Design Space pulls from your computer. So if you're using a computer and you like to download a lot of fonts um, from different sources then um, you can look up all your system fonts that you've personally downloaded here. And then of course all, the all button here will bring up all the fonts that you have combined, both Cricut and your system fonts. If you know the name of a font that you like to use frequently, then you can type it in and search it here. I typically always forget the name of fonts and have to search for them, but that is an option. You can also filter fonts by my fonts multi-layer, single layer, or writing. The writing fonts are the ones that are going to give you those calligraphy or the hand lettered style. So um, this is especially useful if you're making uh, maybe a party invitation or writing on cardstock. That, um, that's when I typically use the writing fonts. The single layer fonts are the ones that are going to just cut out in a single layer. Um, multi-layer, they'll be, they'll, there are fonts that have like a background and a foreground which of course you can typically ungroup and then remove one or the other if you're not happy with it. But there are a lot of different ways to filter down the fonts that you're looking for and to search for them individually. Um, to see what your text looks like in a certain font, then you can just click, we'll just click one, and it will automatically bring up your text in that font. And you can see if you like it or not, and if not, then you can go back to the drawing board and pick up another font. The style will have different options according to what font you're using. So this font only has regular style, but there are other ones that you might click on that will have a bold or italics. So let me see if I can find a font that can show you what I mean by that. Let me type in the Cricut. All right, we'll just do just like the default Cricut font. And then if you click on style, you see that it brings up quite um, a few different options. You can make it bold, italic, bold and italic, or turn it into a writing font. So this will change according to what font you're using. And you can play around with that option too. All right, now the font size. You can change the font size by typing in a number, like so, or you can change the font size by using the up and down arrows to change the font size. I usually change the font size by pulling the arrows. So there are quite a few different ways you can change the font size other than just using, um, typing in the numbers here. It's just whatever works best for you. The letter space option allows you to change the distance in between each letter. And again, you can type in the number or you can use the up and down arrows and Cricut Design Space will change the um, space in between each letter for you to view.
Now the line space option, this comes into play if you have two separate lines of text. Right now I only have one, so to show you how this works, I'm going to go back into the Word and make it two lines. Alright, so now I can come up here to the line space option and again you can type in a number or you can just use the up and down arrows and it's going to change the space in between the happy and the birthday. It's going to increase the amount of space that's in between the two words there. For alignment, this is going to align my text within the text box. Right now it is currently left, but I can change it to center or I can change it to right. Now here's the advanced text options and these are just easy way to ungroup your text. You can ungroup to lines and if I do this then it's going to create it's going to give each line its own text box so the happy will be in one and the birthday will be in another or ungroup to letters. So you can see if I click ungroup to lines now the happy is in its on box that I can move around and the birthday is also separate. So now that um, the text that they're in individual boxes or they're ungrouped to lines, you may notice that another option also appeared and that is the curve option. The curve option does not appear if you have multiple lines of text within the same text box, but it will appear if you have just one line of text in the text box. This is a long-awaited feature in Cricut Design Space that many users are excited about and it's very easy to use. Click the text box, have the text box highlighted that you want to curve, and then hit the button. It'll process for a minute, but then it will give you the option to either type in a number over here, or you can just slide this in order to get the desired curve effect. And you see the more that I move it over, the more that it curves, and I can curve it till it's all the way totally in a circle. And then you can bring it back and, and just sort of play with it until it looks the way that you would like for it to. All right, so that's the text editing panel. There are a lot of different options um, for you to get the perfect text look for the project that you're working on. Happy crafting, guys.